I received the dreaded review of the book this week. I've not been anticipating the review for many reasons, but the biggest is that the book is about something very few people in the religious sector discuss. The book examines a prophecy that I feel was fulfilled within the pandemic of 2020 and takes you on a journey of how I saw the scriptures unraveling within the age we now live. I make no claims that my examination is right. However, if we are all being honest, COVID was a pretty big deal no matter what side of the controversy you applied your habitual manner of thinking to. I decided to self-publish through Friesen Press and the whole process has been amazing. From the original edit to the final review, I knew that the words that I placed on paper were going to be critiqued. I knew that many people reading the book would be annoyed. I make disclaimers in the very beginning of an abomination that caused desolation that states, if you're easily triggered by spiritual language with words such as Jesus or oneness, enlightened or Holy Spirit, God or Mother Earth, prayer or meditation, then you may have a hard time reading this through. I make many disclaimers throughout the book as it is not meant to trigger people with language, but to encourage people to study and not to take everything at face value. When Friesen Press first edited the manuscript, I was very encouraged by the summary review that said, it is clear that you are writing for a higher purpose. However, the latest reviewer of the completed book has not been as flattering. I was not sure how to take the reviewer's professional assessment of a controversial book, but at this point, I believe this review is an accurate assessment of the content. The book only received two stars from the Forward Clarion reviewer. It was clear that the reviewer kind of sort of got what I was saying, and I feel that she wrote the review from her conditioned way of thinking, which is exactly what the book is about. She isn't, by my understanding, and she did not find the book compelling. The latter is a bit concerning. I knew that the book was going to ruffle some feathers and I wasn't going to appease everyone. I had to pay for the professional reviewer's time, but I didn't get to choose the person who actually got to read the book. I didn't get to sit down at the round table in an office somewhere and review those individuals who may have an interest in this type of literature. We all have biases. How many times have we seen a great review of a movie only to come out of the theater disappointed? Or how many times has someone said to you, you won't like this or that, only to be shocked that you really enjoyed it? From the beginning of the publishing process with Friesen Press, the question that is often asked is what genre you want to see the book listed as. It is not a religious book, as the reviewer suggests. The book may be an anti-religious book, and more suited in this spiritual genre due to the nature of my new understanding of scripture. It is not against any religion and makes no appeal for a new following or faith. It may be a futile attempt to bridge differences amongst the heavy amount of division, hate, anger, and fear. I am not sure what genre it belongs as I see the book as an examination of something that we all experienced in life including, but not conclusive, of lies, misinformation, and deception. It is a quick and easy read, so as not to bore you with details, and I suggest looking things up so you can see for yourself that many times things just don't add up. If you are steadfast about your beliefs, whether they are political or religious, this might not be the book for you.